Hey, I've bought some men's clothing bundles and uh, I'm going to unbox them or debag them right now. Welcome back to Cooking Hayden's. I'm Carboot Chris and today I'm unbagging this little parcel. It's a bundle of men's clothing that I bought um, wholesale and the contents of this, I'm not actually sure what's in this one because I've got another one to do afterwards. Um, so I do know that whatever's in here cost me around about £2.50 an item. So let's just open it up and see what we got. Right, so we've got this bag. The contents is roughly £2.50 an item. Give or take a few pence here and there. What's a few pence between friends? Um, it's a wholesale bag. I have kind of seen a screenshot of what should be what I should be receiving, so it's not completely blind. I did buy it with some knowledge of what's inside, but I'm not actually sure what's in this particular bag because I've got a box under there as well, which is from the same place, which I'll open on another video because otherwise we'll be here all night. So I bought this lot, £2.50 an item. Let's see what we got. Oh, I think I, I won the raffle. Oh. Oh. I don't really like dealing with shirts, but I do know that there was a few shirts in here. I don't know why, it's just, I don't know actually. Why don't, why don't I like dealing with shirts? It's a bit like I don't like dealing with trousers. I'm pretty sure there's no trousers in here. Thank God. Let's see what we've got. Leave that to the end. And we'll just take some stuff out of here. How's the lighting? Probably not great. Um, let's see what we got. So remember, 250 an item. Um, a shirt, a long sleeve smart men's shirt. Very good condition, to be honest with you. Um, it is a size large re -camisily. Never heard of that brand. Let me know in the chat in the chat let me know in the comments have you heard of this brand hmm sure about that one let's just leave it there just leave it there and then i can fold them up let's try and do these shirts but oh, i'm just gonna do whatever comes out uh, what's this a polo shirt we've got a polo ralph lauren fortunately the size is frayed um it's a standard Ralph Lauren style short sleeve polo. Um, reasonable condition, not amazing. Let's see what else I got here. Fat face t-shirt size large. What is it? Let's see if we can see what it is. Fat face, some kind of like expedition sort of work bar fat face. T-shirt, yeah, £2.50, what's this, looks like Tommy Hilfiger, size large, Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt, got a, a Lacoste t-shirt here, again, size large, that's quite nice actually, that could be, I might keep that one, to be fair, I quite like that. That's a decent t-shirt, I like that. That's, that's gonna be a key for that. Uh, I've got a fire trap, new with tags. Fire trap. Not much value in this, unfortunately. There's not gonna be a lot of value in that. Certainly for eBay. Um, I, don't know, I, could, I, could, I could make a whatnot show out of some of these, actually. New tags, large fire trap. Right, what's this? A River Island large red t-shirt. Not really much to it. A pink Calvin Klein. Is it genuine? Looks pretty good actually. What's it got in here? Looks good to me, although I don't have much experience of buying Calvin Klein. 
but pink Calvin Klein polo. A little bit worn under the arms there. I might, I might give that a little wash before we do anything with that one. £2.50. Paul Smith t-shirt. Like oil cans on it. Size large. Motor oil. What have we got here? What is that? Snesmo. Zvezno. Size large. Plain black t-shirt. Nothing much to that. Another Calvin Klein size large. Don't look like bloody large, that. It's actually quite a nice t-shirt, that. It's got the reflective CK and then it's got embossed Calvin Klein, but bloody hell. That's got to be a slim fit, that. It's not fitting me, that. Right, we've got some shirts here. Let's have a look. Next size large slim fit shirt. Uh, what's this? What's this one? United Colours of Benetton. Bloody hell, you don't see that very often. Remember when the Benetton shops used to be like, you know, decent shops? But like an interesting floral pattern on that one. These are all larges, actually. I think I remember ordering all large for some reason. A River Island short sleeve shirt. Burgundy sort of geometric pattern on it. You liking all these words I'm coming out with? What's this? A Jager. I don't know what that is. Size large. Floral type design. Like sunflowers. Geometric sunflowers. <laughs> Oh God, this is like a canvas shirt. It's a next large, like a canvas granddad collar thing. What's this one? Uh, Russia, John Russia. This is Debenhams, isn't it? New with tags. Linen shirt. Bloody hell, 36 quid. I would not have paid 36 quid for that shirt. I'm sorry, I would not have done. If that was a normal collar and not one of these daft ones, I might have kept that for holidays or something. Um, a Jack Jones size large polo, plain polo. Uh, we've got a Hugo Boss here, regular fit, size large. I'm sorry, Hugo Boss, that is not a regular fit. I don't think that is. I will struggle to get. I, I don't know actually. It's not bad. It's a nice t-shirt actually. That don't look regular fit to me though. Ralph Lauren large uh, grey polo. Good condition. What else we got here? Another Ralph Lauren large grey polo. Almost the same. Slightly different weave or what you whatever you call it. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. What the heck? Ugly cells, you know that. Look at the size of the collar. Who's wearing that? Curtis Hawes and Curtis London. Slim fit large. Look at the size of the collar on that. That's like Harry Hill. Harry Hill would probably pick that up. Oh, there's a lot of shirts in here. I didn't realise there were so many. Ted Baker, 16 collar, uh, like a funky orange patterned shirt. Another shirt. Did not realise there were so many. This is a Levi's large slim fit. Uh, that's like a red check, very small checks. Actually, all in good condition, but probably not huge profit in these. Jack Jones large, a plain white shirt. Another shirt. Another one of these, look, re 
Kami Kamiki. Rika Mickey. I probably butchered that. That's a black shirt with some interesting detail on it. It's got like 500 buttons at the top here. Look at that. Mm, you can tell I'm not well up on my shirts. I would not wear that one, fortunately. Uh, what have we got here? Another Curtis one. Slim fit large. Not quite as big a collar on this one, but still a funky design. They, this would probably do all right, to be fair. Looking at the design on it, it would probably do all right because ugly sells. And the last one, last one, is original registered trademark by Wham Denim. Interesting looking shirt with the detail on it. A bit like the other one. Is this Curtis as well? One denim. Don't know what that is. Size large. Anyway, if any of you people, good people, are interested in any of these funky shirts, drop me a line. So that's me little unbagging. £2.50 an item. What do you think? I don't think there's huge value in there. Um, I think we're sort of around the... I think most of that stuff is around the sort of 10 to 12 pound per piece mark. You know, like the Hugo, um, Hugo Boss and the uh, Polo Ralph Lauren polos. I'm not sure about those shirts though. I'm not sure what they were like. It could be an opportunity to do um, like a shirts show on whatnot. Um, do some nice low value shirts for people. Hmm, some bargains maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll drop a couple of things here, just in case you're interested. And um, maybe we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And let me know what you thought of today's little haul.